I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. Hello everyone, my name is Derek and welcome back to Detroit Lions Syndicate. You already know what we do on this channel. We talk all things Detroit Lions, so subscribe if you have it. Listen, if this is your third time here, YouTube is just going to keep throwing me in your face until you hit that subscription button, so make sure you do subscribe and hit that notification bell because that's the only way to be. The Detroit Lions are all over the news today in a good way. Not only will they appear on HBO's Hard Knocks for the 2022 season, the Detroit area will host the NFL draft for the first time that I can remember in 2024. So that news comes right on the heels of Hard Knocks. So let's talk about the Hard Knocks show for a second. The Detroit Lions have been eligible now since the end of the season. Number one, you didn't appear on the show for the last 10 seasons. Number two, you cannot have a rookie head coach. And number three, you made it to the NFL playoffs. Now the Detroit Lions have not been in the playoffs in five seasons since 2016. And Dan Campbell is coming into his second year, and we have never appeared on the show. Now, it came down between us, the New York Jets, and another team as well. And I really said that the Detroit Lions had the best chance to be on Hard Knocks. I've been saying this for quite some time. Two months ago, I made a video about how high the chances were that the Detroit Lions would wind up on NFL Hard Knocks. Because really, the nature that Dan Campbell, the entertainment factor, and the fact that people really fell in love with this coach. And even though we didn't win a lot of games, our team still gave it all they had. They fought to the last breath. And I really thought that out of the teams available that could be forced to be on hard knocks, that the Detroit Lions would be the most interesting. And it came out a little while ago that the Detroit Lions were the team indeed selected to be on hard knocks. Now, there is nothing the Detroit Lions can do to avoid being on Hard Knocks, so we might as well embrace it. Now, back in 2019, I made a video about how the Lions did not want to appear on Hard Knocks. If you looked back at that video, it was on my other channel, when you appear on Hard Knocks, the, the, the next season that you have going into is not that good. I think at the time, very few teams actually make the playoffs or have a decent season. It's very similar to how it is when a player appear, appears on Madden. That was also the case with Hard Knocks as well. Very few teams were able to actually do something when it came to making a push toward the playoffs. I think only a few teams out of the teams that had appeared over the last 10 seasons made the playoffs. So it goes in line with what I've been saying. I have been saying this for a while, that the narrative is changing in the city of Detroit. And even though I rant and, and do all that stuff, I know, still believe in my heart that the Detroit Lions will begin to be boosted up on in the NFL narrative. And I said this, I have the receipts to show you videos that I've said that the Detroit Lions will begin to be on the NFL's good list, if you will. So expect good things to come from the city of Detroit very soon. And that leads us right into the next segment. Just a few minutes ago, Adam Schefter said that the Detroit area would be hosting the NFL draft in 2024. So not this year, not next year, but two years from now in 2024. Now that's going to line up with when a lot of people thought the, the Lions could really become competitive and be heading in the right direction to make really make an impact on the NFL. So how coincidental it is that not only the ne the same day we wind up on Hard Knocks, we're announced that we're going to host a draft, and then that also coincides with when they expect us to be pretty decent competing for the NFC North. The NFL draft is usually not as big as a stadium. It could be hosted at Ford Field. It could be hosted at potentially a uh, Fox theater. It could also be hosted at little Caesars arena as well, because that's kind of got a more, a more condensed compact only holding about 24,000, 25,000 people. So we will have more details later. So the Detroit lions winding up on hard knocks. How do you feel about it? Is our time coming in the national football league? You guys have seen the ups and downs of me, the good, the bad, and quite frankly, the frustration that this team puts me through. But as I've said many times before, our time is coming. Matthew Stafford winning the Super Bowl was, in my opinion, the final piece to the Detroit Lions rise to the top. 
and that is in progress right now. My initial prediction was that they would win the playoff game or division title in five to eight years. I have moved that up because of the Super Bowl win by our former quarterback that we will win a playoff game and or division title in the next three to five years. And in my opinion, this right here is the start to that that upward trajectory that the Lions are going to be on. Just you wait and see. The NFL is full of narratives. We've been at the bottom for so long. It's only one place to go, and that's up. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. We are on our way to 1,600 subscribers. We got a goal of 2,000 before the NFL draft. That's about four weeks away. So if we can average 100 subscribers a week, man, we could do it. No problem. You guys are awesome as usual, and go Lions.